Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, and I'm a twin flame from Chicago. Um, I have my third part of talking about the sacred sexuality of twin flames, and I want to share with you a little bit of how we're going to put this together. So in my previous two videos, I covered the female gender body and the male gender body, and I'd like to reiterate here that uh, the person inside, depending on the energetic that they brought in from their angelic lineage, uh, can exemplify the entire spectrum of se sexuality. And what that means is um, they are expressing out into the world in various ways. So you can be in a male body and either be a heterosexual or straight male. You can be a gay male, masculine male. You could be a lesbian, uh, masculine male or male, magnetic male. We're going to get into some of that a little deeper in future videos. You can be a transgender that identifies as male and same thing in a female body. You can be a heterosexual female or straight female. You can be a lesbian female and you can be a gay, uh, you can be in a, a male body, you can be a, a gay uh, female, transgender female as well. So um, I'm not saying this just to make sure I'm politically correct and I don't want to exclude anyone. I'm here to tell you that twins are collapsing dualities in all ways, in all shapes, in all forms. And we're here to exemplify love, divine love, sacred love, and to bring sacred sexuality and bring a divine love back to this planet and to exude it to everyone. So um, I'm just going to cover here the very outer chakras that I really didn't focus on in my previous video. So here I've drawn a male gender body and here I've drawn a female gender body. And here's just a profile of a head. So what we have here is we've gone through the inner and outer chakras. This is the very outermost obvious chakra. Uh, what is referred to in the Hindu and Tantric traditions as the Lingam. For my purpose, I'm going to call it the wand, your magic wand, which may sound like a euphemism, but as you start to experience yourself, you'll find that uh, this word is actually a little bit appropriate because as you expand, it's no longer limited to the flesh part of yourself. You'll actually feel like you are magical and that you can expand, fill your partner, and really touch them almost all the way through and it feels very natural to you. So what you have here is uh, if you take a straight and heterosexual couple, a male and female body together, they actually will have the spectrum of sexuality within them. Now, how are they going to experience all things and be everything to each other? Well, a lot of that is up to the couple to explore on their own. But I will say this, that both of the uh, bodies do have all of the inner chakras that I covered in my previous videos. So the star core is in both bodies, the heart is in both bodies. You've got corresponding parts in the testes, the ovaries, uh, the prostate and the uterus. Each body has both inside. And that's somewhat of a miraculous thing. Um, how do you put these together? Well, one of the obvious ways is this part goes into that. And yet what people are finding is that uh, this isn't ultimately fulfilling and it can't actually touch all parts of them. And it's not always due to blocks, it's sometimes uh, determined by cultural or societal uh, things, nor what's considered norms that get dictated and yet it sometimes prevents people from exploring all parts of themselves. So a one-size-fits-all 
mentality is definitely changing for a lot of people and they're not they're no longer fulfilled in their relationships or their unions and what happens sometimes is you know you'll have either one or the other that starts to seek outside the relationship and they'll say well I get 20% from this I get 30% from that you know I'm getting another 50% uh, from this and I piece it all together and I'm fulfilled well, that for twin flames, that is no longer fulfilling. So each gender, both females, females, gay, lesbian, transgender, everybody, if you're a twin, some of you are feeling some degree of not feeling loved, supported, or fulfilled, no matter how much sex or not sex that you're receiving. Now, on the female, the a uh, very small private part which is covered with thousands of tiny tiny nerve endings and yet this is so very important for females of all genders uh, and males in a female gender body because what is this this is not only their clitoris this is actually also their magic wand so what you will find is that the female actually, the female body is able to extend her wand uh, with the appropriate sacred stimulation uh, from this part and also from the inside in the vagina. Now, if you take both parts, these actually each correspond with each other and this part, the wand, is actually um, re-enlivened with two of the chakras, but also the female of either gender. Uh, the sensation of this is that you can have the two wands, and yet they'll feel like they melt into each other and merge as one. And it will feel for let's say for example the man or the male as if he himself has a vagina she the female or the woman may feel as if she has a penis or she has testicles and I'm going to uh, point out something here that as you become enlivened and expanded and that your your body is emerging that some of you are feeling extreme pains here and those extreme pains are coming from past circumstances where maybe you live in a culture where male circumcision is the normal and you always have this and yet you've lost a part of yourself that was taken from you frequently at birth and you'll have a lot of pain here or you'll have had past lives where you were castrated and the same with females. They have uh, sometimes been in cultures in the past or now where parts of themselves have been mutilated, cut, excised from them, and yet the etheric parts are still here. So even if you have this damage, um, make sure that your parts are as healthy as possible. Make sure that you uh, focus on the fact that you can heal from these wounds. These are wounds to your sacred sexual that frequently were perpetrated on you or they're the result of an accident in this life. I worked with a lady and her son was climbing a fence and, and he tore his um, testicles. This happens. A lot of times uh, people in male bodies experience injuries. Uh, female bodies will experience injuries but usually it's the result of some form of uh, blunt trauma being forced upon them. Um, we're not here to focus too much on that but I will say that I've heard that from a number of males and I myself have also experienced that uh, these wounds to you actually translate as real pain. It will pass. If it's a temporary pain and you you can discern and feel that it's temporary. Put some ice on it, put some cream, get yourself checked. 
Um, if it's something that feels more serious, by all means, go to the doctor and get yourself checked and make sure. Because uh, sometimes you can't always feel and then all of a sudden you feel something and you just want to be sure that you're ready for full union in all ways. Now, I'm going to cover here just what this corresponds to. On the end of the male's wand, the glands of the penis directly corresponds to the lips and also the lips of the labia. So when the male uh, is able to feel at that part, she will also feel here or he. If your partner is a man, he will feel. If your partner is a, uh, in a woman body, she will feel. If you are two uh, women together, you'll still be able to feel this because the wand actually exists on the inside as a part of your etheric body, regardless of what the outside of your gender body actually exhibits. And there's a lot of people that know this because maybe they've done some tantric, so they've learned how to move the energies and uh, work with it and other people don't really maybe they'll just know they can do something it's all valid as long as it's appropriate and I encourage you again to uh, circulate the energies pull up into your heart don't stay in your lower chakras learn how to circulate it if you are with a soulmate you won't be able to experience these sensations where you can feel say for example the glands of your partner's penis at your lips as if you would love to kiss that person and it is a kiss it's it's an angelic kiss that you don't even have to put your human lips to your twin it just naturally occurs because it's the intention of your heart and your etheric body goes there so there's some magical stuff that's happening to not only bring men and women closer together uh, gay males closer together, lesbians closer together, and for transgenders to experience themselves fully in full union in love and everybody in love with their twin. Now, um, there's another part that when you do circulate this energy, and I'm going to cover more of this in another video, but your voice of God, which is in your throat, will frequently when you feel these energies and you touch each other and your wand extends and you feel filled it will fill you to here and you actually will breathe out prana this is breathing out the love you are literally breathing out the love of your union out into the world and it's that easy this is not rocket science people but it does require some fortitude and it's not for the faint of heart, but all of you are strong. You came here to do this. You also do have the ability to work through your issues. So don't let anything be a deal breaker if, if it's your twin. If you know in your heart that this person is your one true love, please embrace them. Keep trying to work things out. Keep trying again. Keep going back. No matter what your body is, no matter what you think you might have been scarred with or wounded with uh, continually the the bad energetics are being taken so please keep giving love a chance and I encourage you to do that you will speak the love with your voice of God which is an actual chakra and you will call that person your God or your goddess they are the goddess or God of your existence truly and it will feel poignant it may feel as if it takes your breath away except you'll feel extremely calm and extremely fully in your union and entirely enveloped in their love so uh, we're getting very close to uh, collapsing all of these dualities for men and women men and men women and women uh, to fully experience and become themselves, uh, which is what we came here to be. So thank you again for listening. I hope you enjoy these videos. The next videos will be covering some other parts of the body. 
Thanks very much. Bye now.